How you guys? How's it going? So hopefully you can hear me over the sound of all these frogs just going at it. But today we're going to be cracking open Battle Box Mission 109. I uh, also want to say real quick, uh, it's been uh, just under uh, two weeks, I think, since I've posted a full-length video. And that's because I've been um, on a short little vacation deal. And uh, I just hadn't been at my computer or been able to uh, post a video. So... That's what that delay has been about. But we won't harp on that. We will just take and jump right into Mission 109 because this arrived, I think, on Monday. And I've just been dying to know uh, what's inside of it. So. So. Folding the lid back. Everything in here looks very, very nice, neat, and organized. Sometimes it looks like this thing's been tossed and thrown around. But here is our mission briefing. So, yeah, mission 109. Okay, already super happy to see that we have got another Holtzman knife. That's what this bad boy is right here. This is a Holtzman folding pocket knife, D2 steel. Been carrying this now uh, as my EDC pocket knife for... I'd say at least four months so I've got an assortment of other Holtzman knives and I mean really just I have I've had zero issue with these thus far so let's see which one they have gifted us today here oh heck yeah okay so we got ourselves a nice little thick boy so this would be a perfect size for a neck knife. And I believe that's kind of like what they have in mind because they already have it on a lanyard. But you have the sharpening stone on this side of the sheath. And then on the front here, we have a spot for the included ferro rod. And even the handle of the ferro rod matches the color scheme of the knife. So just some nice little attention to detail there. But this is a very, very, very nice feeling short knife. This is one that I can uh, for sure see me carrying uh, this spring whenever I start hopping back into the old kayak uh, to have to cut fishing line or, uh, you know, just have at hand. Feels like it's got some very, very good retention. So another winner. It also comes with a belt clip inside of our case here and we got a metal neck lanyard and just some other additional hardware so all in all this is a winner that, that knife alone to me makes this box worth it and i don't even know what else is in here okay so here we have got ourselves some rapid ropes this from atwood no this is rapidrope.com so uh, I don't think I have come across this particular brand yet in my endeavors. But with what we do, you can absolutely never have enough cordage. And this seems to be like some really, really high quality cordage. So this is more of like a, uh, a webbing. In a way, so this has a 1,100 pound uh, tensile strength, and then it has, you know, a built-in cutter up here at the top. And then, wait, what is our overall? We got 70 feet of that, so we'll throw this in the backpack one day whenever we're doing ourselves a nice little bushcraft build, um, or just whenever we're going to be hanging around camp. So, up in the right-hand corner, what do we got? Poison oak and ivy removal wipes. So, with, uh, you know, spring and summer, just right around the corner, um, these could be invaluable. I'm lucky. Like, I still tend to, uh, you know, I come in contact with it a lot, and every now and then, um, I'll get a rash from it. Uh, but I've always been pretty lucky in that it doesn't tend to itch. Um, but you never want to risk it uh, in the nether regions, you know what I mean? So having some of these could be the difference between your trip absolutely sucking and you having a good time. So I will throw a couple of these into my pack whenever I head out once everything starts blooming and budding. Okay, here we have got something from We Knife, another brand I don't think I've heard of before. 
Oh, hello. Okay, well, everything just decided to hop out on us. So a lot of little decals. We got some stickers. Here we have a nice soft microfiber cloth made better as it says so we got a little zipper pouch here okay got another so the inside of the pouch is lined with this soft fuzzy stuff and then here is our pocket knife so it's like we got some wooden handles Ooh, a very very smooth deployment on the blade it looks like this is the banter model I'm assuming but yeah that right there that is smooth as butter let's take and put that bad boy back in the case here so we don't get it mixed up and I'm assuming these are other model of knives that the company makes. That one right there looks pretty dang sick. And what's this small box up here? Here we got Animal Track ID. Expand your awareness. Heck yes. So I don't know if these are meant to be playing cards or purely just Animal Track identification cards. Okay, yeah. So it is purely just uh, informative Critical thinking, so red fox, then you got, so you got the tracks on one side, and then on the back you have all of the information from size, stride, feeding, mating, habits, and range, all on there, so like coyote, wolf, just canines in general. White angle, so white-tailed deer, mule deer, elk, moose, mountain goat. And they're different colors, so they're color-coordinated kind of to the types of animals as far as, like, size. You know, if they're hoofed animals, uh, like that one was just canines, possum, so varmints. That is very nifty, and I will be going through these. It, like, cards like this is something that's really uh, nice to have whenever you're just sitting around camp killing time. Because it gives you something fun to do that is uh, also, you know, beneficial knowledge. Hot snot. Okay, I have seen this before, but never used it. Um, this is, yeah, fire lube in a tube. So this is just some type of gel fire starter um, that burns very, very well. I think even if it's wet and you just got to take and pop a hole in that. So I'll bring this along with me on our next overnighter, which I'm going to be doing very soon. I am ready to get back into the mountains um, where I've been on that little hiatus. Uh, I have been missing every second of, uh, you know, just being in the woods by myself. So there is that. Okay, and then I believe we have one more thing here. The Kachula Adventure Blanket. So that right there is what the front of this looks like. This is a uh, cola tree, economic goods. What does the back say? Anywhere, camping, hiking, uh, water and spill resistant, uh, converts to an emergency poncho, antimicrobial stuff and do a pillow. Okay, well, let's. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. So this look like the weight of this feels like something that will be really good for spring and summer that you can just throw over yourself because it's kind of got like two layers. It's got this outer layer and then this uh, this lining material. So there's some like dead airspace in between the two. And up here. Okay, up here, so this is a detachable hood if you needed to wear it as a poncho and have the, the hood area. And then it's got snaps here so that you can close it up 
and it even has a big pocket right here which i'm assuming you can actually you can probably store this into um but you could also store gear there if you're using this walking around and you need to put your phone or something in there so all in all i dig it Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for our Mission 109 unboxing. Uh, they did it again. We got a very, very dope selection of gear. Uh, I'm now aware of some new outdoor brands that I have never heard of, uh, which, as you guys know, is kind of one of my favorite parts about these here uh, monthly battle boxes. Um, so two thumbs up for me on this one. I would love to hear what you guys think of this month's box down in the comments section um as always make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you have not already share your channel with your friends family anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities <clears throat> make sure to check the video description um down below and i will have a link to uh the battle box do jig here um also too i tend to link to uh any of the clothing and stuff that i wear in these videos in case you are curious uh, about checking those out for yourself as well so with all that said, guys, until the next one, adios.